Sony released a, a disc version of Raven. They remastered it. And uh, and that shows all martial arts. Oh. It's, well, it's, yeah. It shows about an assassin that gets stuck in Hawaii looking for his kid. And all these assassins come hunting him. And so he's constantly on the... And he's, he's got all these different capers that he does. And it's with Lee Majors. And it's cool. Yeah, it's a cool series. And then the Exile series that I did in Paris is cool, too. That's dark. It was supposed to be based on, you know, do you know the book Shibumi? No. It's a Treverian book about a mystic. And his name was Shibumi. And when I first got the job of doing Raven, is they had told me we're going to do a television version of Shibumi. And I went, sign me up. <laughs> and so, because this guy was this mystic assassin. And it was a brilliant part. And I just went, okay, yeah. And so I trained my ass off for that. I trained for almost eight months before I even started shooting. So I was in the best shape of my life. I was, in, I was a fighter. And so when I did Raven, I was like at the peak of my, you know, I, I was 30 some years old and I was in the best shape of my life. And I've been training with Billy Blanks and, uh, um, uh, it was also Howard, Howard's, uh, God, I wish I can remember his name. And he was like a six-time world champion too. So Howard was part of it. And, but you can see uh, Raven on, it, they're streaming it again. And also they're, uh, they have a, a disc thing. Um, uh, but when I first started doing it, I thought I was doing Shibumi. And then they started saying, we want more Magnum PI. And I went, well, I'm not doing Magnum. I'm doing Shibumi, right? Isn't, and then it, that, uh huh. I was going to say, isn't that kind of heart sinking when you, you're walking in and you're like, yeah, I'm going to make this my this own. This is thing. why the networks failed. Yeah. Is because they had, they tried to homogenize too much, man. You got too many MBAs and bean counters trying to create art and you're mm. going to ruin it. And so that's why television's booming right now because all these people are, they need content. And so they're trusting the artists. Yep. And so the artists are in more power right now. And so the work gets better. And so all these stories are so much, they're, they're, they're not watered down so much, you know? Um, so, and I know we're both getting tired. So um, I'll just ask a couple other questions about conquests and sure. then I'll definitely let you go to bed or whatever you need but to do. But I think you get a kick out of Raven if you don't know the series. Because um, it's, it's, I, it's I just looked at I just looked it up, and uh, there's actually some full episodes on YouTube. So, I'll, yeah. uh, I'm yeah, gonna definitely. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna let Matt know, and uh, that we'll we'll need to check some of these out. Yeah, good. And if you want to talk about that sometime too, we can. But that was it's it's fun. It's only because it's it, it's actually um, it had a really strong following. Um, oh. Yeah, really strong, and uh, the after the second season. Walker Texas Texas Ranger came out and mm -hmm. so it was getting big numbers and so they ended up canceling my show and putting his in there and my show was ten times better in my opinion <laughs> it was just, it was just more, the production values were better the writing was better the fights were better um, I just I, I was proud of that show I mean we worked hard and we did some pretty interesting stories and it was fun um, but I think I think you'll get a kick out of it I think there's some pretty cool shit in that you know. Okay. Well, um, you sold me. And, well, and I up. don't know what to do with. I, I don't know if Exile's coming out. I know that CBS still owns it, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they're going to revamp that one either. It's called The Exile. It was that in 2011? It was in 91. 91. And that's the show that I, it was a co-French American production. And so it had all these really cool French directors that were doing it. So it, was, it has a, this European quality to it that's really cool. And Definitely not part of the homogenization. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. It was really different. And, uh, you know, um, 
you know, some really, you know, I played a double agent. I was part of the KGB and also the CIA. John and then the Stone. wall comes down. Yeah, John, John Stone. Stone and Phillips. Right. So he was a double agent. So he gets caught by the KGB and when the wall comes down and his CIA operative gets shot. So the CIA thinks he's a traitor and the KGB thinks he's a double agent. So he has to go underground and he works for this French militia as a the ghost. And he's sort of a ghost assassin. And it's really a cool story. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. You definitely have uh, done some uh, interesting shows. Yeah, actually. yeah, I really love that show. In fact, I thought that was a better story than um, than even Raven. Uh, but Raven was good, but they they botched it because they again they homogenized it a little too much. I wanted to do Shibumi, and they wanted to do Magnum. You know, it's, that doesn't mix. There's a guy from, that was raised in Japan and became an assassin. I mean. You gotta have Asian people, and <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is with Hollywood being too so dainty about casting Asian actors. Yeah, for, exactly. For, it's weird. I, you know, it's it's weird. It's it's twenty first century now. It should change. 